What's up, everybody? Fuddlewin Itachi here, and Pokemon is back at it again with some more Pokemon Sun and Moon adventures. So, today we are going to be getting into some more Pokemon Sun and Moon details on some more of the Pokemon that have been released. Uh, some of these Pokemon were released about a week ago, about a week ago, with Coro Coral, and uh, they were just released at Gamescom in uh, video footage. So, let's go ahead and check out the tra Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, introducing four brand new Pokemon. This one is brand new. I have yet to see this one. It is Crabrawler, and as you guys can see, his right eye has kind of like the the brawler effect. Like he's been in a couple battles in his time. He's a fighting type Pokemon, not a water fighting, which I thought it would have been, but it is purely fighting type. This one was released in Korokoro, Sandy Gas. Basically, it's a ghost and ground type. It's got the water compaction ability, and its evolved form is going to be Polo Sand. Polo Sand. I don't know how these Pokemon are going to work in the anime. I can see why they have the ghost type Pokemon because there's got to be something controlling the sand. Um, but it's water compaction. If it's hit with a water type move, it basically raises its defense power. Because if you put water on uh, sand, it hardens up. So it's kind of like a hardened form for these two guys. And of course they've got that ghost ability so they're very, very powerful. Now. Beware has a devolved form called Stuffle. It is a stuffed bear, just exactly where you get the same form. It's a normal fighting type with the fluffy and klutz abilities. As you guys can see, it's got that tag underneath its tail, and it is on all fours instead of uh, Beware, who is uh, bipedal. So, Pokemon Sun and Moon, November 18, 2016. I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Now, let's go ahead and get into the complete details of each and every Pokemon we just witnessed. Crebrawler, it's a boxing Pokemon. It's got the type of fighting. Height of 2, weight of 15.4, and the abilities of Hyper Cutter and Iron Fist. Crabrawler has a personality that really hates to lose, and it's driven not only to aim for a higher position than its fellows in terms of social standing, but literally to aim for the higher position in the landscape. Perhaps as a result, it's sometimes found clinging to tall people or to the walls of buildings. If you try to remove one against its will, you'll be met with a sound punch. Crabrawler's favorite food is berries. It punches the trunks of trees to give the branches a good shake and knock the ripe berries to the ground so it can feast. Many Crabrawler may gather around a tree, but only the one that emerges victorious in battle against all the others receives the privilege of eating the ripe berries. Crabrawler uses its claws to protect its face and belly while getting into close combat to its opponent to throw punches. Its punches are powerful enough to split tree trunks. Crabrawler's pinches are sometimes torn off during its bouts, and they are said to sometimes be delicious. That is very interesting. All right, Sandy Gas, Sand Heat Pokemon, Ghost and Ground with a height of one, weight of 154 pounds. Wow, that makes no sense to me. And the ability of water compaction. A sandy gas emerges when the grudges of Pokemon and other creatures soak into the sand after they fall in battle. In essence, it's possessed lump of sand. If you heedlessly grab a sandy gas to shovel, you'll fall under the Pokemon's control. A sandy gas uses its power to manipulate children into gathering sand to increase the size of its body. If a sandy gas loses its shovel, it may put up a tree branch, a flag, or other item in its place. These sandy gas are wanderers in search of their own shovels. This tunnel, the mouth of the sandy gas, can suck the vitality of people and Pokemon. Apparently, it's a test of courage in the Alola region to put your hand in a sandy gas mouth. Sandy gas has a new water compaction ability, an ability that no previous Pokemon has had. With water compaction, its defense stat will go up by two if hit by a water type move. Now, the evolved form, Palo Sand. Category Sandcastle Pokemon, type is Ghost and Ground. Its height of 4, its weight of 551, and the abilities of Water Compaction. Palo Sand controls human adults, making them build a sandcastle that provides camouflage and also raises its defense abilities. Unlike Sandy Gas, if Palo Sand loses some of its sand from its body, it can restore itself on its own. When moving about in search of prey, the shovel on top of Palo Sand's head revolves. It's said that the shovel could be serving as some kind of radar. What I don't get is, yes, in the game these are two normal Pokemon, but in the anime I'd like to see how the animation works with these two, because it is a ghost type, yes, so it is controlling the sand, but how is the sand going to move around? That's what I want to see. And Stuffle, the de-evolved form of Beware. Category, Flailing Pokemon. Type, Normal Fighting, Height of 1, 
weight of 15, and the abilities are fluffy and klutz. Stuffle's cute appearance and movements, plus the fluffy feel of its fur, all combined to make it super popular. It's not popular in my books, but okay. This uh, The main reason is because it's pink. This Pokemon may have a small body, but its strength is extraordinary. Receiving one of its powerful hits without being prepared for it can bring down even a well-trained Pokemon. So I just want to say, what was your favorite of these four brand new Pokemon? Palo Sand as well as Sandy Gas are very interesting and cool, unique Pokemon. So I cannot wait to see them in the game and the anime as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to check out the description box for the one Itachi is out.